and I had a big, uh, they've given me a big classroom to use to give, uh, um, you know, to teach my art. And uh, I had a big uh, wood shop to use, and uh, my choice of barns to do big sculptures in. Uh, it was a wonderful place, and incredible, you know, incredible people. Did you just? Uh, uh, it was really funny. I was in Virginia, mm -hmm. and I'm figuring out, well, uh, where's the, you know, I'm trying to figure out the best place to go, and I've been all over the country, and I'm going, man, it's definitely the West Coast, and I'm thinking. I've been in Northern California, and it's Northern California is kind of changing. It's becoming very gentrified. Very, uh, I lived in Sonoma, Napa County, but uh, it's like uh, very becoming very yuppie. And uh, how much is your bottle of wine? And I'm drinking, you know, kind of thing, you know. And I just can't handle that, man. <laughs> so uh, I go, uh, I'm giving up on Northern California. So then I go, what's left is uh, Oregon and Washington. Go, well, I've been in Oregon a lot, and I go, Washington's okay, but still it's kind of, you know, more, more yuppie up there, Seattle, <laughs> you know, so I go, it kind of limits me now, and I'm in, I'm in Oregon, and I go, well, Eastern Oregon is kind of, you know, they're okay, but I go, the coast, the coast, I love the coast, so I'm going, ah, Portland, there we go. Any place that loves weird people, man, that's where I gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he says. I, I was born and raised here, so I was from it's Nebraska. Not weird. Oh, Nebraska. Huh? And I did not fit in very well in Nebraska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most places I've been, I don't fit in real well. I, I try to keep my mouth shut and my opinions to myself. And <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> so, anyway, so. How do people get a hold of you if they if they want to? Uh, I have a website, and uh, mostly they can get a hold of me through my email. Except my uh, uh, my internet since I moved here has just been crazy, insane trying to get it worked in. So uh, eventually, I'll have my. Uh, uh, He's a email sculptor. He, he he a lot of his sculpt. Go through a few of the things in your uh, uh, portfolio as well. Uh, just show off a few of the things that... That's my business card you're looking at there. And that's just a few of the pictures that... A lot of these are huge carvings. You, you can see the person standing by the door there. He did that carving on that door. I made the door. <laughs> he created the door. And, uh, but yeah. Yeah, so... But you got, I mean, you know, I think you should go see his uh, work on his website. Yeah, that's probably the best... Way you want to get a good oh, okay, okay. Okay. Let's good. show just a few things. Right. This is marble and stone. And uh, this was uh, 12 feet high, four and a half feet wide, 16,800 pounds. It's uh, called Tennessee Pearl Stone. It's a type of limestone. And uh, there it is being delivered on a big truck to my old house there. I don't live there anymore. There I am on my non approved OSHA scaffold. <laughs> which fell apart and I fell off it many times. Um, and here it is 28 days later. And there it is two and a half months later, polished, standing on its own. It's incredible. And uh, that's showing the musculature and the robes on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but... Can a little bit. You can a little bit? <laughs> the glare, actually, I, yeah. I turned the light on to But that think might be too dark or... Well, no, that's see that's it better. better I that's guess. better. Yeah, and it goes on and on, and just tons of stuff in there. It's like uh, about a thousand pictures in there. There's all oh. sorts. Yeah, all sorts of stuff in here. And it goes into wood, and I work in stone, wood, marble, bronze, stained glass, etched glass, uh, jewelry, lost wax. Uh, Well, how I got into carving gemstones was uh, when I was when I was uh, making jewelry in Hawaii, and my jewelry wasn't very good because I was just learning how to do it, and uh, but I could carve. So I was trying to figure out uh, how could I, you know, get around all because Maui at the time had a lot of jewelers, so I had to figure out how to get over the hump and you know away from the competition. So I started carving the stones. I mean lapis and opals and. Oh, God, man, every kind of stone, carnelians, anything. And I'd carve them, little diamond bits. 
And then if you go to a dentist, they always throw their diamond bits out. They'll use them uh, once or twice and toss them. And uh, they're good diamond bits, not the, uh, you know, you can buy at uh, like, uh, what is that, Harbor Freight, you can get 20 diamond bits for $10. <laughs> but they, that diamond comes right off after a while. I mean, just, you know, they don't last for crap all of them. But the diamond bits that the dentist throws out are really good and they last forever. And uh, <laughs> you just have to make friends with the dentist and say, hey man, what are you doing with all your diamond bits that you throw out? And then like, uh, oh, and then uh, carving cabinet doors, man. They throw out these beautiful cabinet doors, oak and cherry and, oh man, uh, hickory. I mean, geez. And they burn them. You know, they'll remodel the house and they got all these cabinets. And most of the time, or they're just changing out the doors and they'll burn them. Or they make a, a door that's a little off or an inch or a half inch too short or something and they toss them. So you go to cabinet doors and uh, you, or cabinet companies and you go, hey, uh, can I go through your you know, burn pile or you know, what, what are you tossing out? And I always get like big pieces of wood. You found the piece that you carved uh, for your dog. Yeah, that was on a burn pile. That was, they, it was burnt in the process of burning. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, and then I, I carve them, and it's like a framed painting that you put on the wall, it's, you know, except it's a carving. And then uh, I, mean, I go to uh, uh, tile and, uh, uh, you know, where they do counters, and uh, you can get big blocks of marble and stuff like that. And I've gone to construction sites. I went to one construction site where they were uh, demolishing this building to put up another building, and I talked to the contractor, I go, hey, you know, I, I do salvage. He goes, okay, uh, oh, and I go, you got anything going on? He goes, well, you can walk through. And I walk through, and here in the uh, bathroom stalls, they had Alaskan marble sheets, six by eight. Hmm. Sheets of marble, man, and you know, it's like uh, inch thick, these sheets, and they were smashing them with sledgehammers to get them out, you know, because they, they don't want to deal with that. So I'm going, oh my God, man. So I, I go, hey, uh, hold off on, the, <laughs> on that and I'll be right back, you know. And you always have to slip a few bucks or, you, you know, give them some. Help. One hand washing the other really works right. well, you know. So anyway, so I come, I build this frame in this two by four frame. I throw it on my Ford truck, man. And I'm hauling, but they're 450 pounds a piece, man. So I got uh, a couple of friends and we're like struggling with these things, trying to put them on the. And I got like six sheets, and uh, there was like 20, 30 more sheets, and I'm going, oh man, I can't do any more. So uh, I saved six sheets, but the rest of them just got smashed, and it was like all white with black swirls and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm really into, I'm really into uh, recycling as much as I can, because America just wastes so much. I mean, it's insanity. How much is wasted? Alan's Gully goes to marble companies and he actually paints on the marble that he finds. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a, yeah, I, one time I got this huge piece, of, it was uh, six by eight feet, and it was a piece of bronze office window. And uh, it was like a, an eighth off or something, just barely off the size they wanted, and they were going to smash it. And I go, look, I'll take that, man. And, I, uh, it etched really well, and I did this uh, crane flying over a swamp, and then you use this acid, uh, you know, I did a moon and then it blocks this acid on it, and it kind of makes the craters on the moon kind of thing, and uh, I sold it to this place that used it, uh, it was a bar, and they put it behind the bar, and it was just gorgeous, man, it was just, I mean, it's amazing what you can... <laughs> Low overhead, high profit margin. <laughs> I have that branded across my forehead. <laughs> so we're having a gallery in our home here on the 23rd of January, is the first Fourth Epping Friday. Um, but all of the artists that we interview throughout January are invited to the second one in February on the 27th. Oh, cool. And uh, so. Uh, we're telling the artists to bring a few small pieces mm -hmm. um, to show off and business cards. Sure. Get your name out and socialize with local people. Sure, or artists. sure. And your portfolio. Yeah, definitely bring your portfolio. Okay. People will love to see that. Um, 
And then the second thing is uh, we're asking all of the artists, uh, it's, it's not a requirement, but we're asking all of the artists to donate a small piece for a raffle um, that we're doing. And a guest can come in and if they do a donation of $5 or more towards 4th Epping Friday and the Art Life video blog, then they can get a uh, little piece of art from me or Christopher or okay. you. Or... Okay. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We'd love to have you here. Oh, well, yeah, I'll definitely be here. And if you want to come on the January one, just to kind of check it out. Check it out, sure. There's going to be wine, friends, you know, or... wine and food. And... Okay. Music. Sure. I'd like to. We're gonna I play music well. also. Do you play music yeah. too? Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe you can play some music. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't have. I play kung. I'm a percussionist, <clears throat> and I mostly play kung fu. Except I don't have my kung fu here yet. Okay. Uh, they're still in Virginia, but they're being shipped out. And uh, I play harmonica. Nice. Yeah. And I've played with uh, many different bands, and I played uh, the uh, last band I played with. We played a. Uh, last time I played actually was. About a year ago, and it was in front of a concert of three thousand people. Yeah, I, yeah. Not I many people can say they played in front of that many people. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I love playing music. I've played music uh, forty-six years now. Wow. Yeah. So, so well, he's got a website, RoderickNeswick.com. R O D E R I C K Neswick. N E S W I C K dot com. Yep. All right. And uh, you can hit my website by going uh, uh, Rod, R-O-D, Neswick, N-E-S-W-I-C-K, Sculptor, S-C-U-L-P-T-O-R, at gmail.com. But uh, I'm having trouble with my internet because I'm still trying to set it up, And uh, but it'll be set up hopefully by today. <laughs> or tomorrow. Then you can but contact him. But at least you can go see his work. On yeah. Or you can call sites. me on the phone too. It's 757-508-6623. Uh, Great stuff. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here, Rod. Yes, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This Good is the Unlike Video Blog. We love you. Love you.